I'm Peter Block here at ACC 2019 in New Orleans, and with me is Mandeep Mehra. Uh, and we have just heard about the momentum trial. Now, uh, Mandeep, you've talked about momentum with me before. Uh, we've been through a number of iterations of this technology, and now we have Momentum 3, which clearly now has shown that the technology has made a quantum leap forward. So tell me about the trial quickly, yeah. and then let's talk a little bit about how these patients are faring. Yeah, so Momentum 3 is the largest uh, trial in advanced heart failure of left ventricular assist device therapy. It's a one-to-one -one randomized trial of a device called the HeartMate 2 device uh, compared to the new device, the HeartMate 3 pump. The HeartMate 3 pump is a uh, novel technology. It's a unique pump uh, designed with a fully magnetically levitated uh, rotor, and uh, it makes it frictionless. Uh, it, the pump is much more uh, forgiving on shear, uh, shear stress. Yeah, that's uh, what I was going right. to ask. Clearly degrees yeah. of shear stress. Clearly. And, and we also added a pulsatility component into the pump. So so the pump pulsates uh, by you're, revving itself up and down. You're making Mother Nature <laughs> envious. We are. We're trying to mimic yeah. uh, the biology as close as we possibly can. So, so this trial was really uh, done to test this new uh, left ventricular assist device because we have improved survival in patients with uh, left ventricular assist devices, but at the cost of a number of uh, terrible, terrible complications along the way. Yeah, thrombosis, hemostatic events, basically. Really, Stroke uh, yeah. and all those bad things that yeah. happens when you things, have... Things that stop clinicians from uh, advancing the referral base for these patients. There you go. Yeah. So tell me what Momentum 3 has shown. Yeah, so the, the 1,000 final report uh, on these patients has shown uh, that the HeartMate 3 pump with this novel technology is clearly superior to the uh, uh, older heart made two pump. Uh, how is it superior? If you uh, quantify the net clinical benefit, for every 10 patients in whom we choose to place the HeartMate 3 pump, we avert 2.2 pump clotting events or pump thrombosis events, two strokes, and 6.8 major bleeds of which about uh, four of them are gastrointestinal bleeds. So it's uh, it has a number needed to treat of less than one. I mean, that's crazy, <laughs> right? It is that much better. Yeah. So uh, is HeartMate 2 going to continue to be manufactured, or is the company just going to move on and say, this yeah. is crazy, the results are so good? Well, I think the results are so good that it is going to be crazy to uh, de novo implant a HeartMate 2 uh, over the HeartMate 3 if you had a choice. If you don't have a choice, or if you need to replace a HeartMate HeartMate 2 with a HeartMate 2, then you may still need uh, a few um, HeartMate 2 devices on shelf. But uh, I don't see um, any choice but to pick the HeartMate 3. You know, yeah. uh, we were talking earlier about these patients and their thrombotic events and such. And the fact is, though, the mortality overall at, what, two years? At two years. Uh, is no difference between the yeah. two machines. Yeah. So I was so impressed that we have come we, the people who take care of yeah. these patients, have come so far in dealing with their hemostatic thrombotic events. Yeah, absolutely. It's remarkable. It's a, it's a great point. 81% survival at two years in these patients, and now a much more forgiving survival. So they, you said earlier, they suffer, but they suffer from different things. Yes, <laughs> right. exactly. So in fact, their strokes go away. Yeah their thrombosis issues go away. And bleeding. And their bleeding goes yeah. away. And uh, this is all a huge step forward technology-wise. Yes. Thank you so much, Mandy. Thank you, Peter.